It is Halloween, and it's eight days before the election. Perfect timing for a story on political impersonators whose stars shine so brightly and for some so fleetingly. Here's ABC's David Wright. It's be absolutely fantastic. Better? Where are you from? Spain. I love Spain. Don't forget to vote. Vote for Hillary. We're down to the wire. Yay! Eight days left to go, so this is the final push. We're from Venezuela. Venez I love Venezuela. You have <laughs> yeah, so yeah. much oil. Can't wait for November 8th. Only that's not Hillary Clinton. Right in the kisser. That's not Donald Trump. I need more hairspray. They're after impersonators getting the last laugh out of this race. No way. <laughs> One of them could be out of a job in eight days' time, the other on a pathway to stardom. Putin and I are having a great time. We worked everything out. I let him have Syria. Political impressions are a boom and bust business. Nightclub performer Vaughn Meter of Maine may be the most famous example. He perfected his Kennedy vowels and rode them to stardom. Here he is on the Ed Sullivan Show. Do not ask what this country can do for you. That's one of my original lines. A gig that lasted exactly three years. After Dallas, Meter never did his impression again. Every flub, flip, or flop in modern politics has made its way onto Saturday Night Live. I can see Russia from my house. <laughs> Tina Fey, Sarah Palin, one of the most iconic examples. Alec Baldwin's Trump, high on the list, too. He's either not that rich, Wrong. not that charitable, Wrong. or he's never paid taxes in his life. Warmer. <laughs> and there are many Hillary Clintons. Not enough to just work hard. We have to be cool, but tough. Soft, but strong. Uh, sweet old lady, but a sweet old lady that says, yes, queen. This is the jacket that I wore last night. Teresa Barnwell has been Hillary for the past 23 years. It all started for, for me back in 1992. That was the first time that somebody told me that I resembled Hillary Clinton. Just take a look. The resemblance uncanny, so much so that Teresa quit her job in advertising and does this full time. We met up with her after a performance in Las Vegas. Okay, ladies, we need a woman president. Are you going to vote for me? Yeah, sure. Vote for me? If you'll step back over here, you can get a photo with the real thing. Excuse me, I need to check my emails here. Oh no, another classified email. Oh, what am I going to do? I do try to dress in the manner that Hillary dresses, of course. The pantsuit is the key costume. Let me show you a few things that I have here. So we thought we'd help her out. Oh, I love that. this, that's great. With a fitting for that presidential pantsuit. It's got a nice little pinstripe. Barnwell is such a ringer that just last month, conspiracy theorists said that this video of Clinton was in fact Barnwell. Clinton body double trending on Twitter. But alas, not true. Teresa is up front that she's with her. Making history. When I get discouraged, I look at Hillary and think, if she can get up and do this every day, so can I. His hair's pretty long and he kind of folds it back over. So but enough sitting, fake Clinton. Equal time rule mandates we get back to fake coming. Trump. Are you feeling Trumpy? Very Trumpy. John D. Domenico has been playing Trump for the past 12 years. And in an unlikely turn, it's finally paying off. What's the big challenge of doing Trump? His voice. I do a lot of voices. His voice is the most difficult. It's fantastic. We will make America great again. Not just that. In the last year, his voice has actually changed. It's become more, more guttural. He's, he's doing these things now. He's straining his voice a little more because he's speaking so much. I have to tell you. And I have to tell you. I have to tell you. And I have to tell you. Now comes the spray tan. Coco tan. Ooh, yes. <laughs> And voila. Perfect. Every time, I have to tell you. It's time to meet his adoring fans. And what is the essence of Trump? You know, you're it. You're the, you are number one. It's actually kind of affected me personally. Um, In what sense? Well, I'm, it's actually helped me be more confident. Are you going to vote for him just for the gig? 
Just for the gig, yeah. All I can say is if he wins, I'm gonna have a very busy four years. You look fantastic. A Trump win could put him on the path to big bucks. Already, he says his income has doubled since last year. Didn't they say he could walk down Fifth Avenue? And shoot somebody, and I wouldn't lose any voters, okay? And that's in my act. And I say, my supporters are so loyal. I could get up, shoot someone on Fifth Avenue, they'd rise up from the dead, and they'd still vote for me. And of course, a stop by HQ. I think we're causing a stir here. How are you? Good to see you. Are you old enough to vote? You are? I like that. That kid's good. We have to say we fully expected them to kick us out of Trump Tower. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. But they tolerated us. Laughter is the best medicine. How are you? It's good to see you. And after this election, we might all need a double dose. Tell everybody who you're voting for. Uh, everybody who you're voting for. Clinton. See that? Donald Trump. He's voting for Trump. You heard it. We'll edit, we'll edit the Clinton thing out later. <laughs> I'm David Wright for Nightline in New York.